What I'm involved in is testing the robot out in the field and making sure that the control system we've designed works properly, figuring out where the holes are in the system so that we can patch them and improve the robot. We've developed an operator console which is isolated from the test area and then what we call the lunar yard which has a variety of terrain, uh, gravel, rock, sand, craters, hills, obstacles. We have the pose information which is essentially where the robot thinks it is and how the robot thinks it's oriented in the world so if it's pitching back too far or rolling over to one side and we also have stereo information from two cameras mounted on the front of the robot. And this, using a 3D display we've set up in the operator console, allows the human operators to have a, a sense of what the terrain is like and hopefully plan safe routes through the field. We're introducing bandwidth restrictions like we would have a 40 kilobits per second, which is not a lot of data. So we're trying to make sure that all the data we're getting back in 40 kilobits per second is sufficient to operate the rover safely. There's going to be long telecommunications delays between here and the moon, so we really can't afford to be driving the robot by a joystick. So what we've designed is a waypoint navigation system where we send to the robot a mission plan, which is go to position X, Y, then drive to the next position, the next position, the next position, and so on until it reaches the goal. And that could be an interim goal or the ultimate goal of the, the XPRIZE itself, and then stop and await more commands. The advantages of this is that the onboard safety mechanisms can watch what's going on and stop progress if anything dangerous happens. And we've successfully done some waypoint navigation and we can, we'll continue to do so and keep pushing forward our testing approach until it's uh, exactly what we expect to see when we're operating on the moon. And we will just be continuing to flesh out our operator console, figuring out what we need to see for the robot to be safe, what the robot needs to see to keep the robot safe, and how we can best send this information back to the, to the operators.